difficult working advice, online. Yeah. What advice yeah. would you give to people that maybe are in first or second year who haven't done yeah. university, um, in an in-person session? Like how do you find your people online? Yeah. Um, so I, so Keshav is one of the people that I have always relied on. Um, and we actually were in the same group for a project in first year. And that's how we met is we ended up in a group project together. And we were both kind of the people that were doing everything as happens you find, in you first find your year like-minded people. <laughs> yeah. <in the> projects. <laughs> yes. So that's kind of what happened is we got thrown into a group together. Um, and then we had another class the next semester together and we kind of were like oh we know each other we'll sit next to each other and it kind of just like kept going from there so I think you just need to like in classes don't worry too much about you know do you have the same like lifestyle outside of classes and everything like that like you just need to find somebody in your classes um my little sister started university this year and one of the things I told her was find somebody in every one of your classes I was like you're going to want somebody to text to say hey can you get the notes for me on this day I'm missing um so I think that's the most important part of going into first year is you know just try and find somebody anybody <laughs> like you guys don't have to be best friends but you're gonna need somebody in your classes I definitely did it alone, <clears throat> in person alone. I was training, I was working, and mm -hmm. it wasn't until I hit like third or fourth year where um, you start realizing, oh boy. And I'm like, why didn't I? It's like, yeah. I sat, this, uh, I was in this 500 person lecture hall and Dougie, like Prof Doug, he made us call him like Dougie. Um, it was like, look to your left, look to your right, like exchange phone numbers. Like he couldn't have made it any easier. Yeah. And yet I was like, no, like I got this. Like I was a solo studier in high school. Like I, you know, but you're so right. Um, so now as an adult, I don't even realize when I'm doing it. Um, you, but you just put yourself out there a little bit. And sometimes, I don't know, you say something to somebody and they, they don't, um, interact back and that's fine. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Like, oh, like, you know, whatever. I don't even know if one, like nice weather or like, Hey, like great sweater, or, you know, just something where it's like legit honest. Um, like I like their sweater and you can tell they're like, do not want to engage. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> fine. Fabulous. Um, I was right before the pandemic hit, it was, um, they sent all of us pre tenure people that, that were going to go up for other reappointment or tenure that, um, the following year. And this was in like March. So you're supposed to spend your whole summer creating these files to submit them and hope that you get your job for the next year. Anyways, so I'm like looking around. <laughs> of course, I sit beside somebody in my faculty and then I'm looking around and I noticed this person with like, um, that's like engaged. Like they were like taking notes. They were writing down things. They had their own file going. And I was like, oh, I like, this is somebody that, um, cause they were going to arrange like kind of a place so you can swap files. And I was like, if I get a choice. I want to swap files with that person. Cause like <laughs> that person is my person, right? <laughs> I don't know if I deserve yeah. to be <laughs> swapping files with somebody that's like that <laughs> advanced, but I like it. Cause in our faculty pre pandemic, it was all paper files. And he already looked like he had this like thing going on digitally. And I was like, oh, that looks fabulous. And so the moment that the pandemic hit, and I forget what happened, like we ended up sitting beside each other, like we, we exchanged like names and the pandemic hit. And I was like, oh no, <laughs> I have to find him. So Anna, I found him. We exchanged files a uh, year and a half later, him and his partner came out for a drink that a whole bunch of like props and I had. And I was just like, Kyle, your file saved my like stress levels. Like it is just mm -hmm. so awesome. And, you know, when I think back to it, I was like, wow, like, it's true. Like, if you're sitting in these sessions, if you're sitting in these things, like, I never went out there being like, I want to find somebody to swap files with to like, you know, to get all their good stuff and insights. Mm -hmm. I was just like, I want to, you know, you just notice when people are kind of like on it, and you just ask them questions. And then there's like some engagement. And then you just ask like, hey, I sent him like a note. Hey, I'm Sam, I'm from the session, want to swap files. And he wrote back, sure, that sounds good. Right. So why can't you yeah. do that with something with school? And it's kind of what I would encourage people to do. Yeah. Sorry about my big, long, boring story about <laughs> swapping files. 
<laughs> but the pandemic, it was hard for profs too. Cause we're like, oh shoot. Like nobody in my immediate, like had um, gone up for reappointment or tenure or anything in like a, a while. And definitely nobody had it um, when it was online digital files and engineering. That's all they did was online digital files. So anyways. Go make some friends. And then if you if you're a prof listening to this or you know, an employee, like that's 